Welcome back to Crypto Lion. We're committed to serving you with the latest news in the crypto market as well as solid predictions of market movement. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our posts. Today we'll be discussing the big warning about Bitcoin movements in the market within the next 48 hours. And we'll be examining the best time to buy according to predictions and some important Bitcoin news that is sure to affect the price of Bitcoin and overall movements for as long as the effects of that news will last. Bitcoin has been on the minds of many people, and even in a lot of news in recent times, more than ever before. A lot of investors now see it as a very valuable asset, and many are comparing it to gold. A survey of the Deutsche Bank released recently revealed that investors view Bitcoin and US tech stocks as the biggest market bubbles right now. The survey, which is based on responses from 627 market professionals between the 13th and 15th of January, found that the vast majority of investors, about 89%, think some financial markets are in bubble territory. Out of those bubbles, Bitcoin and US tech shares are top of the list. Bitcoin is viewed as a more extreme case, with half of respondents giving the cryptocurrency a rating of 10 on a 1 to 10 bubble scale. Bitcoin has been on a wild ride during the past few months. The world's largest cryptocurrency by market value rallied to an all-time high of nearly $42,000 just two weeks ago, before slipping sharply. It's up more than 800% from March 2020 lows, when the cryptocurrency dipped amidst concerns about the coronavirus pandemic. Investors are increasingly seeking exposure to Bitcoin following the recent months-long price rally. Bitcoin exchange-traded products are seeing record trading volumes. Meanwhile, more big banks are reportedly trying to get into the crypto space, including Goldman Sachs. With the price of Bitcoin rapidly rising over the recent months, more investors are looking into the prospects of the cryptocurrency. The price of Bitcoin rose about 24% since the beginning of the year and over 90% since the beginning of December. One Bitcoin exchange-traded product, BTCE, has recorded an average daily trading volume of $69 million in the first 11 days of January, as reported by the Financial Times, which says the data was from a credible source, where the product is trading. This week as well, Switzerland's principal stock exchange revealed that its crypto trading volume hit a record high of $1.2 billion in 2020. The exchange now lists 34 crypto exchange-traded products. Grayscale Investments' Bitcoin Trust posted an average daily turnover of almost $1 billion in the first two weeks of this year, which is more than nine times the average in 2020. The Bitcoin Trust's assets under management grew from $1.8 to $17.5 billion during the year. Similarly, Canadian asset manager 3IQ says its Bitcoin fund has reached a milestone, exceeding $1 billion Canadian dollars in assets under management. Besides the Bitcoin fund, the company offers the Ether Fund and a global crypto asset fund. As Bitcoin continues to outperform other assets, more major companies are seeking to get into the crypto space. The global head of commodities research in Goldman Sachs, Jeff Curry, said last week that the Bitcoin market is beginning to become more mature after he called Bitcoin a retail inflation hedge. There are rumors now that they have issued a request for information to explore providing digital asset custody service. Recently, the U.S. Office of the Comptroller of the Currency granted Anchorage conditional approval to become a national digital bank. Anchorage co-founder Diogo Monica mentioned that the regulatory approval will attract many large institutional players to begin offering their own crypto services, including custody. Other banks and financial service giants that have recently entered the crypto space include Spain's second largest bank, BBVA, Standard Chartered Bank, Southeast Asia's largest bank, DBS, and Italian insurance giant Generali. Some of them offer only crypto custody services, while others also offer Bitcoin trading services. Ali Spaniola is a well-known artist, musician, and YouTuber with over 325,000 subscribers today. During one of her more recent videos, she explained how she accidentally got Bitcoin rich from an individual who donated $50 in Bitcoin to her in 2013. A few months ago, Spaniola realized that her free paintings project website accepted Bitcoin donations, and she tried to remember why she decided to take Bitcoin donations back in 2013. When Spaniola decided to look at her email inbox, she realized that an individual convinced her on June 25th of 2013 to accept the digital currency. In the original email, the man said that he would like to pay her $50 in bitcoins for interpretation of a bitcoin, a new virtual currency that makes it super easy to send and receive money over the internet. The man convinced her, and so Spaniola painted him a 12 by 12 bitcoin painting, and in the video, she shared the picture of her artwork that she designed at the time. When she originally checked the exchange rate of BTC, it was well over $11,000. Months later, she checked the exchange rate again, and the single Bitcoin that the individual donated to her was worth $39,000. Now, since Spaniola got so lucky, she decided to pay it forward and do exactly what he did 10 times. 
She announced that she'll be giving $50 in Bitcoin to 10 random commenters on the video she posted on her channel. Many other popular YouTubers apart from Ali Spaniola have been discussing the crypto asset on their YouTube channels as well. PewDiePie recently told his 108 million channel subscribers he's been getting into cryptocurrencies and non-fungible token asset games. Another renowned YouTuber, Andre Jeek, published a video in November to his 978,000 subscribers and explained that he invested over $100,000 in crypto assets. Jeek also said that he plans to follow up with that investment video. This means that a lot more people are getting aware about the cryptocurrency space, and the space is expecting even more investors than it's seen in these past few weeks, and the weeks following major announcements by PayPal and others. Let's quickly take a look at some charts that predict the next move in the nearest 48 hours. This chart shows 4-hour duration and is very recent since we're talking about speculations for the next 48 hours. So the price of Bitcoin is analyzed within this reverse descending triangle. We call it reverse because of how it's facing the opposite direction and of course as you can see the tip is descending. Obviously the price has been consistent with the trend lines touching both the support and resistance. The support and resistance line are not horizontal as they usually are but they're still serving their purpose. In this case they're the two lines of the triangle. Recently, the price can be seen touching the support line at around $3,970 if you look closely at the chart, and this is expected to bounce off the support and make its way back up, so we're looking at a higher price than this current price. In the next few hours, this is expected to be visible on this 4-hour chart. Overall, the chart shows an expected bullish run in the long term. This chart shows a prediction of two possible scenarios. Notice the support line is somewhere around $34,000. The current price is very close to the support and just slightly above it. It also shows that the price has tested the support line on some occasions. If you're not seeing that line, I'm referring to as the support line, it's the horizontal hollow bar with blue outlines. Perhaps it's represented with a rectangular bar to distinguish it as a support line. The resistance is set at just slightly below 38,000, represented by the upper blue line. The price has also tested this resistance line too. The chart shows two possible movements if the price crosses the lower support line and goes down to as low as 30,000, or it bounces off and makes its way towards the resistance line at about 38,000. The next 48 hours seem to be the one with some surprises, and we should be ready for it. This chart is a 1-hour Bitcoin USD chart. The prediction here is that Bitcoin will continue a bull run and some targets were set. The first target is around 37,000 and the second one around 41,000. Generally, this prediction is seemingly for a longer period, let's say a week or some weeks or even months, but according to this chart, the next two days, that is 48 hours, is expected to produce a relatively bullish movement. The current price at around 35,000 is expected to increase even within the next few hours or day. The lower trend line here is also acting as a support with the warning on the chart which reads of the potential of dismissing this analysis if the price were to break below this trend line. This means that the price is no longer moving along the predicted movements. So other than that exception, the prediction stands. It's expected to continue with an overall bullish run. In this chart, the support lines and resistance lines are rectangular bars instead and are filled bars with a light blue color. I'm introducing them first so we can easily understand the speculation in this analysis. Here, there's a triangle, and the price is expected to break out of the triangle as it gets closer to its close ends. This chart also predicts a possible breakout in any of the two directions that is upward or downward. There are two support lines here, one at 34,000 and the other one at about 30,000. There is a resistance line at 41,000 just slightly below the all-time high. So the expectations in the next 48 hours, the prices would be close to the end of the triangle, and the breakout may occur before or after 48 hours. Of course, the one thing that's for certain is that Bitcoin is highly volatile and we do encourage you to perform your due diligence and your own research before you choose your stance between long or short. The next 48 hours, as we can see from these analyses, may hold a lot of surprises and we need to be prepared for that. So thank you for watching this video. We hope you liked it. And if you do, please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We hope to see you in the next video. Kindly turn on your post notifications so you can get notified immediately when we put up our next video. Good luck and happy investing.